Alright, Buju. Ani nasi yain gizi kita sih nakaz. Waswagne nindo jebam gizi nindo dam. Wabenong. Jawenong naga binong noki we danong. Miguach kaya ga kini gego. Abagne naga dego ma kini guach kize manido. Bemar zuwe kize manido. Zuwe nem kini jana sak aguju jebawa. Wabenong. Jamu naga, abi nong mero kiwe nong. Ah oh, ada penang. Ah oh, asema kisah mana do? Mikuat kisah mana do? Mikuat kisah mana do? What I said was good evening. How's everybody doing? Excellent, really good. Well, my name is uh, my English name is Ty Defoe. I'm from the Oneida and the Ojibwe tribes of Wisconsin. It's an honor to be here with all these wonderful people in the room having this conference throughout the week, as well as our musicians, our singers, our dancers, everyone gathered to raise consciousness and awareness in the room. What you're about to see next is one of the oldest native dances done today. And they asked me, uh, Heather asked me if I would participate um, in this week's festivities and putting it together and uh, putting different groups together so to show how we can all work together. How I'm going to showcase how we've been working throughout the week is through an old traditional story that will explain this next dance that you're about to see, this demonstration. It speaks about this hoop or this circle of life, right? So I got your whole world in my hands right now, right? You guys heard of that song, right? Whole world in my hands. I'm gonna ask the uh, lighting booth if you could turn up the lights a little bit so I can see some sparkling eyes out there. So this story talks about this small boy. And this small boy in the story, he's about that tall, right? He has real dark brown hair with this tiny little braid in the back. And this story takes place a long time ago in this boy's village. And a long time ago, this young boy he, he didn't know what to do because his brothers and sisters were fighting and calling each other names. So the young man began to cry. He said, my brothers and sisters are fighting and calling each other names. I don't know what to do. He kept crying and crying and crying. He cried so hard, sheets of tears were falling down from his face. And so that young man, he kept crying and crying and crying. He ran off into the forest like that and he put his head down on a rock. And he started crying some more. He said, my brothers and sisters are fighting and calling each other names. I don't know what to do, right? And finally, Gichimani, this great mystery, heard this little boy crying. He heard this little boy. He looked over the forest like that, right? He looked over the forest and he saw this little dark brown head with this tiny little braid in the back. And Gichimani, this great mystery, said, what's wrong, my son? And the boy told him how his brothers and sisters were fighting and calling each other names, right? The young boy put his hands high up in the air like that and said, Oh, creator, I'm just having a bad day. <laughs> Holy what, right? Holy what, he was just having a bad day. Well, in that story, it teaches us sometimes we're like that little boy or we're like that little girl. Right? Where we cry for no reason whatsoever, right? Maybe uh, a friend defriended us on the Facebook, right? Or tweeted something we didn't like, didn't compliment on this new shirt we are wearing to work, right? Those little things, and maybe it's some bigger things, right? Someone didn't give you credit for something and now you got your feelings hurt. All these kinds of things on a particular day, in a particular moment, can make you cry for no reason whatsoever. Well, that's what was happening to this little boy. He kept crying and crying and crying and crying. And finally, Gichimani Du handed the boy one of these hoops, one of these circular shaped objects. And the boy took it and he looked at it and he looked at it and he said, what's this for? And the creator told him to make as many things in nature as you can. He said, make as many things and honor nature with these hoops in a dance and your people will become stronger. They'll see that dance because that dance is a medicine dance. So the boy, 
He said, all right, I'm going to try this out. He gathered red willow that grew by the water and started making hundreds and thousands of these hoops and piles of these hoops. And he started dancing and dancing away, making all these beautiful trees and plants and flowers and animals and butterflies, things that you see in nature with all of these hoops around him. He took that dance and he went back to his village and there were his brothers and sisters still there fighting, right? with their fists in the air, still fighting. And for one single moment, when they saw that boy with all of those beautiful hoops around him, they dropped their fists in midair, right? And they saw those hoops and they said, Hole wa! Right? And people say, hey Thai, what does hole wa mean? And it means, holy cow! Right? They said, hole wa! Let me try that dance. So each one of the boy's brothers and sisters who were gathered around grabbed one single hoop from the boy and they started dancing and dancing away, making all these beautiful trees and plants and flowers and animals and butterflies, things that they saw in nature. They noticed the smallest blade of grass to the big soaring eagle, the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged and the rooted. Together the people begin to dance, and that's what's called the people's hoop dance. Because it is said no matter what race, tribe, religion, culture, clan, red, white, yellow, black, orange, green, purple, fuchsia, silver, gold, turquoise, neon, hot pink. I know there's more colors, but I'll stop there, right? You're all part of this hoop a part of this sacred circle. And that's why we're gathered here today. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. All right. So no matter what language you speak, you know that uh, you can understand that dance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a demonstration of this, this hoop dance. And uh, you'll notice my feet will keep moving as I'm doing this dance, just like the dancers were dancing. Their feet never stop moving to the beat of the Silver Cloud Singer's drum, right? That beat. So if you take your hand and you put your hand on your heart, That heartbeat is the heartbeat of drums around the world. That heartbeat, no matter who we are, where our blood comes from, is our mother's heartbeat is the first music or rhythm that we hear. Right? And that's what connects all people. So does that make sense, everybody, too? You guys are really smart. You guys have been sitting around doing panel discussions and solving the world's problems. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> So, <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you so much for coming and watching this dance. I want you to also know this, um, when I do this dance, to watch very carefully, because after this dance, this demonstration, I'm going to ask you to come on up and, uh, and some of the other dancers to join me to reenact the story that you just heard, right? Because all of our, our indigenous dances, our stories, they come from somewhere. They have a story. They have a symbolism. So see if you can find the story and like what you're going to see as I set these hoops up. And um, people will see different things when I'm doing this dance. It just showcases how each of us are so special and we are all individuals. And it takes us working together to make this dance happen. So if you see something like a plant, a flower, an animal, a butterfly or something like that, don't be afraid, okay? You guys had a good dinner and everything. Don't be afraid to give a hoop, a holler, or a holy wah, right? Because this dance is not my dance. This dance is your dance, right? This dance is a reflection of what I see out there. You got that? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this uh, hoop dance demonstration with 28 hoops. 
So uh, yeah, what you're seeing is just a quick demo. It's a dance that was in my family for many years, as well as this, the story that went along with it. And I'd just like to gift all of you who traveled so far this dance um, that you'll have what Kevin said earlier in Harlan, a strong community and safe travels back home. So here we go with the hoop dance demonstration. We're gonna hoop it up. Are you guys ready? I can't do this alone. Hey. 